Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the TypeScript. So today we are going to learn about how to configure the note more into your TypeScript. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. NodeMon is a useful tool for automatically restarting your Node.js application whenever changes are detected in your source code. Correct? When using NodeMon with a TypeScript, you can add it to your project's configuration and scripts to enhance your development workflow. What we have to do is go to your packet.json file. Here we have a main that is dist app.js file. Start node dist app.js file. If you run npm run start so it will run this one okay if you go with the development part then the notemon configuration is like this notemon execute ts node source app.ts file so whenever there is a change in the app.ts file it automatically restart for the build tsc for the pre-start npm run build for the linting part you want to do es lint and the test for the just test watch like this and test coverage you want to generate the reports so go with the just coverage okay done let's try this one so here we will go with the starting the node more server so it will start with the npm run so let's npm run dev okay because here we have the script part is npm run dev part node more part okay so we have run this one so whenever we do some some of the changes let's some enter of this one and let's do some changes in the app.ts file so here we have the hello world hello this is world right so we will so it expects the string part see hello expects the string and it will log this one hello and let's add one more thing also here console.log so here we will add notemon configuration okay save this and you can see automatically restarted automatically restart and the next change is automatically reflected over here yeah so we don't need to require to restarting the server manually right it automatically restart by the node mode okay so this is how we are able to configure the node mode into your node.js typescript project and without any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day